check out. There have been many, many different uh, looks to this Metasport team across the course of even just this qualifier, really, let alone the past couple of True. months. But looking very good when uh, they're called upon there um, against the overtime threat, you know? And I think that that, like I say, they really could have mm -hmm. crumbled, but they solidly held themselves together. Ponty have now got to do the same. Uh, knife round to decide this one, by the way. I would assume that Metasport took the victory there, picking out on the CT side to get things started. Ah, uh, so CT side start. One of the got to work of smoking towards and Khan coming through here. That'll at least give them some room to work to pop on towards the side. Monty can take early fights. A big stack here, in fact, though. Let's walk at the shots. That should be fine. But Krasnov finds the first. Looking good. Julie's out. Oh, my goodness. It is all over the place right now. We're down to a two versus one, though. And it is because of Krasnov going untraded, ultimately. All the difference. Waro had been waiting all round long to strike. And he will find Sus Monty kicking things off. Not bad. Not bad at all. Monty had a set plan out of the spawn. And it works. Nice and simple. And now for Meta Sport, they're not going to go for a force of their own. For Monty, a really good start. Leading them. And that form off the back of what was a lackluster Anubis. And, you know, look at some of the numbers as well. Some of the individuals really did step up. Gizmi continues to have a good game. MK and Boro at the moments too. And Krasnov weren't bad. Ryu, the only one who was actually really quiet. 8 and 20 he went. So they had the players active in the server. They just weren't able to win the rounds. At least that's where Mirage can... Really help you out a lot. It is very much an individual based game. Ryu gets dinged. That smoke had faded, but thankfully the firepower alone should be enough for Monty. Yeah, one would assume so. Still got to be careful of the stack. Don't want to lose too much to it. I think they are giving some respect to Cross here as well. Just starting to move. Oh, I was going to say towards B, but actually not taking any chances now that they've got a good number of kills. He'll spot out another player, and it's just that Palace guy that goes a little unchecked. And there goes Adam. That's what happens, man. You give him the extended fights, the USPs will eventually melt you down. Only kill that comes in. Look at the HP bars, though, guys. They landed a lot of dinks there. Just not able to convert the frag. So, Monty quite lucky uh, in some places, for sure. First full buy. First true test of what we've got. What a Monty. Got to bring us. As they get tested against the M4s. They can continue this little run of form. This is where they can start to come alive into their own. They don't have a huge amount to work with here in the sense of Galil's in the Mac 10 of Crash now. Three in through mid. And a quick towards me. There's the first. Not the second, though. It's FTR. It's MK will trade. Oh my goodness, getting a bit messy out here. Giacchino, though, at the back end of the B bomb site. He's the hero right now. Looking for more. Oh, he's left pretty low. Doesn't really have anywhere to go. Meanwhile, Warro creating space on A. Now in towards mid. Big kill there. Nilo not quite sure where to look. Going to go peeking round, and Warro will get him. So down to a two versus two. And CT's left a bit guessing. The HP bars are pretty damn low, but... Still, they don't know. Are they going to go A off the back of that? Or are they going to go B? They're gambling A. Uh, it might be incorrect. Waro, lovely little spot to hold here as well. Finds another. They're getting picked apart. This is unreal. Yeah. They're giving away way too many fights now. A 1v2 is still doable. That's the main thing. Look how low they are. Two points of HP for Waro. 24 for Demska. But Adam B's on the wrong site. I don't know. Honestly, I honestly don't know if it's even worth giving it a go. I know it sounds weird to say, but no one me too. He has so much to clear. And not a huge amount of time, but at least as a kit and util, does Demka even get checked? I don't think it will. It's such an off angle. And that late in towards that post barn as well. What a round taken by Monty. What a way to deny the first full buy on a Metasport. And they're going to call for an immediate attack pause. 
that one fell apart and it was actually kind of all their own doing. Yeah, pretty rough. Pretty rough to say the least. Oof. Just a few fights being taken that you didn't necessarily need to, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. When, when it's like 4v2, if you're the first guy to go down, you're like, oh, well, it can't be my fault. They still had the numbers, but in reality, you starve your teammates of a lot of information and they, they panic. They don't know what to do. Um, and that kill in middle onto Nilo didn't necessarily need to take that swing. 3v2, lacking info, doing it dry by himself, no one around to trade, and they thought they were going A. And that makes all the difference, right? That's exactly what they wanted on the monster side. That was exactly the trap that they set. Yeah, exactly. Works well, man. And three to zero start. This is exactly where you want to be if you're Monty. A lot of early control that's working well for them. And of course, it kind of comes back to one of those raw things of, you know, when you looked at that previous map of Anubis, if you look at, at that in terms of a scoreboard, it's one of those classics where it looks like it should have been Monty taking the win. All their individuals were better bar one. But Anubis doesn't always kind of give you that luxury. Oro, does he respect the smoke? No, he's going to be the answer. Sneaks past. Surely spotted there as well. For the backside player, Waro is so scared of behind. He might get caught from the front. 5-7. Trying to take some fights here. And down goes Waro. Okay, seems we're not over with the madness just yet. Gives me creeping forwards with this Mac 10 and a quick kill onto ZTR. So that's a big deal to find that trade, deny that AK away as well. Mm, definitely not secure just yet though, as Monty look to move towards A. Gotta make this work. Good swing, good find. There we go. Oh! Jesus, still opting to use the uh, the molly there, but it's not a real use. It leads down to two. Sosp does have himself an AK, but if Nilo dies and the bomb goes down, he might, oh, I was going to say, might try and keep it alive, but he isn't even given that possibility. Gizmi finds him, and one man's all that's left. Oh, okay. Let's get a spam away for one, but now they know exactly where he's at. Take him down. Big money for Gizmi. All the same things looking good for Monty. Four in a row quite swiftly. Another buy to come out from Metasport. Gotta start convincing us here. Monty channeling the energy from the previous map. Channeling that energy that was missing in overtime, but certainly there at the tail end of regulation. This is very fearsome indeed. Really moving in quick. Really moving in angry. Yeah. That is being used effectively, you know. Well... Flash it towards mid. They're actually not going to be given too much space. As much as they probably want to work of in through mid, there's three players here. One playing anti and then Anilo holding under. Jacchini or posted with the AWP. But the short player does rotate off. So ZTR looks like he's going for the long rotate back over in the direction of A. I say that. One pot flash and he's drawn right back into B. Swinging through mid, miss shot from Jacchino. Nilo won't miss his. Jacchino misses again. As Ryu only gets legs. Warwick goes one for one. This is carnage. Yes, sir. Uh, it is absolutely wild once again. Just all over the place. Ah, playing with fire, moving around. Gets caught by the connector spot, but they were surrounding him. An advantage for Monty. Bomb lagging behind, however. So maybe there's an opportunity for Metasport to close the gap here and their way in. Bomb taking its sweet time and getting over. But get over it. Shall oh no, they line up for Susp. Oh, they knew they had to take a bit of a fight to get that bomb across, and unfortunately, it does not go well. They don't even get a bullet off on him. Just crass now now, and they know that he was towards connector. Could easily have gone around. Not quite sure just yet. Bomb plant gonna come in. That resets the game. They have to come to him. But we'll see. Can he take this over the line? Back in a way. Oh, God. Gets the AK. Oh, my goodness. The knife out. Sorry. That is absolutely wild. The timing on that is just insane. I don't even think the op was looking at him. Man. Yeah. 
That round should have gone the way of Monty. Just that lineup. Sus. Just given an opportunity. You know, credit to him takes it. Lines up with the M4A1S, and that's the round done in a matter of moments. Oh, well. Four to one. Meta Sport finally crack into that first round. That could be the start of them finding a little form. Such a scrappy round, that, though. So chaotic, which at times is sort of how Monty want to play it. They want to sort of thrive in the chaos, which they can. Oh, man, that was not the way to lose that one. That, that's the one that can hurt. They're going to once again try and test out through air here. They might just go quick off the back of a bit of Utah. It's a palace dive. Going wild, going fast, taking it aggressive. Warrow will manage to find the head of the first. With the orb of all things, Adam has to get the hell out of dodge and just give them the sight. Spam is successful for a return frag, however. Not over just yet, of course. Bomb going to go down. Gives me aggressive. I don't know that they will be expecting him. Susp is kind of watching the smoke here. Adam spamming away. Gives me waiting for a flash. It comes in. He doesn't look to get aggressive. Gets the catch as Adam walks into the position. Oh, that is awkward. Because Susp absolutely had that one, but can't really shoot through his teammate. Three versus three. Smoke starting to go down. An off angle from Demka. Very effective indeed. It is just Giacchino on the AWP. It is just Susp on the AK. They don't fancy it. And they will back away. On to answer back. A nice old simple palace dive. Sometimes these really easy rounds can just be the difference makers. Terrorists win. That is it. Oh, Chikino though. A little catch reuse at the very least. Making it expensive. I guess you can take a couple of silver linings there, but... This is still a really good... Kind of position that Monty found themselves in. I'm trying to think now as well for Metasport. Where you try and find your positives. Because you've already been given mid control. That's the main thing. It's one of the most important positions on this map. And they get kind of getting it for free. But they don't have to fight all too much. It's small bits of util. But no real kind of 50-50 jewels. But then do you try and get a little bit more aggressive? They're playing so passive on sites. And maybe that's what's costing them. You've got three towards A and a fourth round the corner. And once again, Monty just goes back into the stack. Nasty stuff. Adam will open up. They're going to have to try and make it work here into the stack. Nilo, they know where his position is at. He does very well to find that frag, but they've just swung back in favor of Monty. Oh my goodness. They are unfettered by the stack. ZTR trying to work above this stairs angle. Unfortunately, nobody cropping up for him. Might be another back away moment, especially now, yeah. Susball alone and too far away, even backing off is a bit dangerous and a bit difficult. He goes down. Monty in with six. That's what I was saying just prior to that round in where I feel like if you're Metasport, Monty don't care if you're stacking sights. It's not making a difference either, right? I think Metasport have got to start getting a little aggro. They've got to start trying to fight fire with fire. They cannot allow Monty to dictate the pace and the tempo of this game in the way in which they are. Try and take fights with them if you can. Try. See if you can battle them in the 50-50s. I think at the moment, if you don't, you're going to really fall so flat on your face. And we're already sort of seeing this. Pause. It was on pause and then paused again. You hate to see it, but hopefully, hopefully, we can get back in towards this one. And uh, it's only a brief one. I'm not really too sure who it is, but I'm going to assume maybe Gizmi because he, well, he hadn't invested, but now he has. And if we remain paused, it's probably not him. Hmm. Yes. Suspicious, very suspicious. Hopefully we're not going to be waiting too long. We Honestly, we've, we've not done uh, very well with the tech issues today. They're not going to be very long, but we've oh, definitely had like <laughs> way more um, than than usual, you know, in terms of the amount. But they, they generally have gone away quite quickly, so that's fair enough, you know? Exactly. I guess that's the main thing. It's just the... 
uh, the amount, right? You've had multiple of them. Oh, well. Six to one, Monty. Really, really good Mirage thus far. Also makes you think as well, why not pick into the Mirage? It's such a strong map for them. It kind of has been for a while. I guess there is always that floating it for the third, if necessary, type thing. So far, so good. Slow around here for Nilo. Boosted up. Does manage to get the back end of Waro. Could be a big deal. We've got uh, a much faster, wilder kind of round, a push in towards ramp, a push in towards palace. You know, these types of areas are going to be unexpected. Adam B, though, he gets mollied out a little bit. They are somewhat ready for him down there. Good damage. They still popping him up massively. Gives me... Tries to go ahead of the flash. Susp in for a double on that recovered rifle. Two versus two. Definitely not out of the realms of possibility. Ooh. CZ. Letting Jaquinio down outside of that optimal range. He's got a very short, effective range. Susp, though, could still get this done. Ryu incredibly low. Swings out wide to find number seven. Heartbreak for Metisport on the half fight. 7-1. This is not good. Not good at all. Meta support off the back of the paws. The tactical one and the technical one. It's not the position you want to find yourselves in. I don't know. I'm really worried about Meta support at the moment. They're in a real shaky spot. They don't get to at least sort of in that four rounds mark on the CT side. I think they could uh, could be done before it even kind of starts, to be honest. They haven't really got started. They got one hiccup round, no consistency. Once again, Monty more than happy just to pug it out. This time towards B. Could definitely make this work. However, it's another multi-frag moment coming in from Sus. Nowhere near secure. Not looking good at all as Monty are left to back away. Four versus three. Looks pretty healthy for Metasport. If they can't convert this one, we have some serious problems. Yeah. Very true. This feels like the best opportunity that they've had for a while. 4v3. 45 seconds. It looks like Bomb wants to go back towards B. It could work in their favor. I mean, realistically, they're going to be in a 2v3 fight wherever they go. If they stick together, they are slightly splitting up. Yeah, it could get a little bit weird over here. Said the art. Going to be blinded up. Needs finishing, and he will indeed get taken out by Waro. Still, Nilo in on the site itself, but they've got a, a brief, brief window to make this work before the rotations come in. Waro with the spray down onto Nilo. And they'll flash in to keep that orb at bay, allow the bomb to go down. HP bars are not ideal, but it's not looking good. Jaquino with a quick scope. He's frustrated, wants to take matters into his own hand. They also do not have a kit to work with. Meanwhile, next player spotted out from short on the barrel. Oh, no. And the hand oh, doesn't quite land, but the pistol will get it done. Medis port, thanks to Sus, thanks to Jaquino holding down the fort, will find their second round. Yeah, a bit of a rookie error there with you as well. Not knowing his positioning, not knowing that he can be seen from window. The whole point of that position is that it's meant to kind of keep you safe for a little bit. If they swing door, you've got the advantage you're posted. So, yeah, small error, small error. Individually, mechanically, he's been good. He has made a few mistakes, though. I guess that all comes with experience and time. Academy graduate from the Monty Gen team. Alongside Gizmi. Second on the board, though, for Metasport. Helio had his ups and downs in the series, but it's good to see him back in the winning ways. Gives me for one. Ryu gets dropped immediately, though. Four versus four. Missed shot by Jaquino, and he gets spammed down. Not given the chance to even fall away. Damn. Getting absolutely ruined out here. Two versus two, though. 
possible. It is possible. I mean, Monty, again, splitting up, playing a unpredictable game, I think, is kind of what they're after. But what is the move? I don't know, man. I don't know. This is really difficult for both sides to work with, but Monty, at the very least, have strewn some confusion, and that smoke will feign out a B hit, but they are, in fact, going A. Gives me Waro. Sticking together. This will be heard as well. I would have thought by Sosp. Maybe not. The only issue is he is absolutely tunnel visioned in. As long as Warren is making. Oh, he's spotted him. Oh my god, he's going to get him. Now they can just pounce it towards the site. That nearly got the worst of him. If Warren made any noise, that round is done. But now it absolutely is done. Just, I, I don't know whether Needler's got this in the locker. Retake, but he hasn't got a smoke. That's going to make his life so difficult. Ace overall going to be required for this round, I suppose. He does have that Molotov. He just doesn't want to give his position away at this point. Spots out a knee. Going to find a clean frag. Now it's all a case of where is this last player? Oh, the Molly at Palace would be the wrong call, but he's going to move in for a bit of pre-fire. Gets it done. Gets the ace. AK for good measure. Plenty of time to defuse as well. A third round for Metis Port comes off the back of the hero. What round? I doubted him and I shouldn't have. Nilo. An H clutch coming through for him and a really, really well performed one. And arguably a bit of a poor post plan as well. They don't play off each other. There's no ability to trade there. That's what's meant to be the beauty of a 1v2. The two are meant to play together. They don't. And Nilo very easily isolates the fights. Good on him for uh, clearing his angles as well. What a star, man. Nilo continues to step up. Five kills in that round. A gift Metasport a uh, third on the board and really hamper the econ. Towards their opponent. Just a couple of upgraded pistols. A triple Galil buy as the once again is going to pile up towards A. Speed in the name of the game. Looking a lot better for Metasport in terms of the hold though. Just gives me and Demko remaining. Desperate attempt at the rush at the force buy and onto seven rounds. Starting to look less scary as Metasport getting used to the approach. The fourth absolutely sealed in. Deagle Demka. He's a bit of magic. Bad idea. Bad idea. Pretty low on ammo, though. And of course, HP. Is down he goes to the hands of Sasp again. A great round from Nilo. Three kills to his name. I mean, they're just gifting him kills. Monty, you know, it has to be said, when it comes towards this uh, sort of T side, they are actually only a, a kind of a one track mindset when it comes to it, of this kind of push A constantly. Hit B a couple of times, it's not exactly been too fruitful. It's a very simplistic cause of Monty, which granted has worked. But it's poor start to adapt, they've started to learn. Yeah, looking a lot cleaner the past few rounds for sure. It is just a case of how far the reach goes. Monty's still in a decent position, especially if they can pick up the eighth and just keep Metis Port at arm's length. Ooh, boost coming in towards window. Spot doing it there. Yes, they dish out some damage and gain a bit of that lower connector control. Have they been snuffed out, you know, moving into the window there. Molotov tickling at the toes of Waro. In through mid, there's not a huge amount here to work with. I mean, if they give him mid control, they just can't really go anywhere else with it. So what do you really do? Wrapping back towards the A side seems to be the play. They're going to leave one that a Waro over towards B and he gets caught by Soft. A nice aggro angle, which works. So 
Coquinho, long range here. Ooh, the jump peak. He's, yeah, just giving himself away, though. Not ready for them outside of Palace. Maybe thought it was covered. Uh-oh. All going to be retrieved, and Ryu makes it work. Oh, no. One at connector. Ready to come in quickly. Adam B will find that spam. Into the three versus three now. Monty, though, this is a round that you feel like they never really should have had. A chance at. They've made it look doable. ZTR on the flank. Not being watched for at all. Easy pickups. It's just going to be crap now remaining. They now know where he's at. He's got to try and find these kills. Can't get it done. And that will be all she wrote. Seven to five at the turn of the half. Clean for Monty. But pretty good for Metasport in the end. See you in a few. Hello and welcome back in the deciding half here for the evening as Metasport looks to stay alive. A long run in the lower bracket for them. Monty kicked themselves after the previous map. Maybe they should have had it. And Nick. Quite one-sided from Monty. So we'll see. Pistol coming out here now. And a fair amount of utility for Metasport. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go towards A as well. Only two, now a third rotating over. Demka playing anti. Waiting for a pop out from Palace, which doesn't come just yet. He's still waiting for it. The part of the time that's perfectly played from Metasport. Peeking out Nilo at the absolute perfect time to catch that ticket player. Now it's a free take on Ryu. What a shot, though. Okay, Ryu keeps on going, in fact. Maybe a chance, maybe a chance for them to get back in here. Oh, yes, Krasnal, big kill. 
two versus two now. P250 still in action for Nilo. They vaguely know where he's at, of course, in the palace now, fully revealing himself. But it is all about where that second player is. Tap onto the bomb with a kit, mind you. But time is starting to get away from them. It's perfectly planted. They just don't have to peek, don't have to give them the kills. Here we go. Full dedication as there is no time left. Moro just making it away. He will go down. Okay. Moro goes down to the bomb. I thought Nilo would go down to the bomb as well, but he managed to survive. All the same. Metis Port is going to get the pistol. Whoa. Metis Port. A really simple pistol. And actually, the call as well, straight out of the spawn, is something that Monty did so much in that sort of first half where they themselves are just popping out towards A constantly. They do it themselves. Works well. For the taste of their own medicine. Will be Metis Port find themselves just one round away. Got a much better buy, but Monty are going to go for a force buy. Which itself feels like a in massive kind of inherent risk. Lose this. Not only the Metis Port tie it up, but they can start to pull away. Nice find on the first couple. Looking good to get rid of the force buy here. Probably just going to be a save from the A players. Really nothing to write home about. Just simple stuff from Metasport. You take B there. Warrow. Saving his scout. Same for the Deagle and the MP9. God, oh, that's a right idea. Oh my god, that's such a janky one. Here he comes over. Does just a little bit of chip damage. But that is basically all it will do. I don't... I mean, I'm actually surprised Gizmi's even going back into the fights. Yes, the Deagle has the advantage at range, but... Still a risk. Don't want to lose it. It's going to be very needed in towards the next round as well. That. Round done. Flawless for Meta's port. Monty. In a bit of a rut now. Tail end of the first half. Start of the second half. Wasn't great. They find themselves in a bit of a precarious spot where Metasport, they can keep this up, this form. They can start running away with this T-side. That's where things can get incredibly dicey. A little concern for them. the only two to really write home about. Can they find something in this? Four out on that B side of things here now. Could get very scrappy over there if uh, any Metasport players head over. But not really sure that they will at this stage, you know, in the mid-round, playing things very, very slowly. Yeah, there's not a lot offering up here. Better support. This is pretty standard for them. It's the way in which ZTR likes to set up his T sides. Essentially not doing a hell of a lot for the first basically minute on the clock. Try and bait out some CT utility, but it's like Monty learned their lesson. One for one trades. After three versus three in the scout at range. Never want to give one of these fights. That's what he can do. Double from him and it leaves ZTR all alone. Well, well, well. Monty making it possible, and yeah, Waro is a beast. Absolute beast. See what ZTR can do. He's got, the bomb. He's got 20 seconds in which to do it. Like, his position going to be known now? Surely he just play around the time at the end of the day. Looking to make some moves. And there's the molly. That kind of just secures it, to be honest. You know, you can keep him at bay. 10 seconds. No way he can charge in. Yeah, and find the kills and find the plan, etc., etc. Monty will get it done. Ah, and a big, big steal. That is huge. Big round, Warrow. Great shots coming out of him. I need to send the scoreline as well. Still is absolutely anybody's game, but that could be the confidence one that kind of gives Monty a bit of room to work with. Red Sport will have a response of their own. We'll have a buy to respond with too. Warriors now go to the scout to an AWP. So what is
is the way to go about this. Nexus Port looks like a hit towards A is the call here. Nemco actually going to give them some room to work on towards the site. Alert smoke. Might play out in front of it. Sneak his way around. Getting a bit wild, isn't it? I mean, you know, been a long old series here, and these teams are not wasting any time getting into the fight. Nexus Port may well have done enough already for me. A kill and big damage. You know, if you were playing super high percentages, you would probably move for a save here. Warra going down, there's the AWP dealt with. So now they're definitely going to move to save. Still got that low HP player in the form of Demka. And the save is not going to be the easiest. Said TR on the front hole. Finds the head. And secures eight. Chiquinho. Holding TR when it comes through that smoke. He won't be given... Anything out here as the remaining two of Krasnar Demko are going to save their weapons over towards B. They don't even have a huge amount to save as well, which makes matters all the more worse. A flawless round of the Metal Sport. A great take towards A. Man. This is a really good spot. They find themselves in Metal Sport in terms of their response. And not giving Monty the luxury of consecutive rounds. Not giving them the luxury of finding form and snowballing. Let's see, Monty do have still he's something to work with. We've got acting out for gives me, but then the Hilver Crash now and M4s alongside it. So they're gonna try and make something work at the very least. And Warren's gonna go out go try and make the difference himself. Could find this frag, maybe. Sus, though, not really playing ball. Not stepping in to his crosshair. So he's just going to have to back away. As he doesn't want to leave himself vulnerable and exposed for too long. Minute and 20 on the clock. Utility coming round. Small peaks, but nothing too aggressive. Monty need this one. The cash is dreadful. They have to try and stay alive and deny double digits away from Medic Port. Grass now, got to be careful. Angle works for him, though. He can stay safe. Grass now. In through get right. Got the right angle here. Could get a couple of the jump across, though. And I put him in a bit of a spot, but Nilo can only get one. Chikino in a 1v4. Let's be honest. This one is too tall in order. He has no idea where three out of the four are. Monty lock it down on towards B. Borrow two kills to his name. What a piece for Gizmi and Ryu, the Academy boys. And Shikinio trying to keep out of the orb, but I don't know if he's going to be given the opportunity to do so. Ryu holding in through shelf. Get cleared. Doesn't matter. Demko at range sees it off. And that'll be Monty back to a round of their own. So back and forth these last three. Either side now taking consistency. Yeah, not looking too bad, to be fair. But we'll see. Is this going to keep up? Very, very difficult to tell. <sighs> My background from Metis Ports. Another bit of aggression here from Waro. Didn't really find success with it in the previous round, but looking to do it again. Sus, a bit further forward this time. A bit happier for the fight, especially now that Adam has found his, but Sus does go down in the middle. Oh, my goodness. Kills coming in thick and fast for both sides. Two versus two. Straight out of the gate. Metasport going back to the fast rounds. If they broke, don't fix it. But I guess at the, the moment, it's not actually locked in the place. In the two versus two... With ZTR and Waro find themselves low. So a lot of this comes down to what Krasnall and Nilo can do. Krasnall in through ticket. Nilo probably going to lead the way out on towards the site. But they're buying time. They're hoping for some over rotation. I don't know. What's going to happen? It's a 1 1 split for Monty. The low play of Warro over towards B. So they've got to try and take down Krasnall.
Krasnall looking in for a peek. Not going for it just yet. They're going to contact all the way in. If they check their angles, they might get away with this. We will indeed check him, but OHP, that trade is there for Nilo, though. 1v1. Waro, 11 HP. Surely not going to be enough to work with. Oh, we'll see, though, man. If he can get the drop, anything is possible. Big round here for both teams. Neither of them have that much money built up. Waro just playing it patiently. Nilo, meanwhile, dedicating to the CT angle. Holding the crack. And he will get the headshot. Nine to nine. And we've got a game on our hands. Really well done there from Nilo. Nice sort of, uh, technically speaking, a 1v2, but it's a trade player on to, or trade frag on towards a ticket player. It's just so crisp. Back and forth, back and forth. Neither side taking control of the momentum. This is what Mirage is all about. These scrappy and puggy affairs. Leave us now. Still questioning who can close this out. Feels like not a lot left in this game, but it's very difficult to call who's even going to take it. Timeout though called for Meta Sport and getting the coach into the conversation, getting an opportunity now as well to just slow things down in terms of the the carnage and the chaos at the moment. It's so scrappy and it has been for a long time. Can they find a way to just make something work? Yeah, hopefully they can keep this together. It is starting to look a little worrisome. Gives me, though, pushing forwards, looking for some information. You know, they have good energy again, supported by a teammate. It's a pretty heavy A ball. Metasport have been going A quite a lot. Are they going to change things up is the ultimate question. And so far, the answer might just be yes. They're dropping back a little bit on the A defense. I'm going to try and figure out where they're at. Is it a B play? Is it a mid play? And thankfully for them, it is a mid play. They should be able to get in here quite fast. You're really quiet. Yeah, like you said, through mid. But a Uto in towards ladder, but they're not really committed. Demka, Demka's got a flank. He spotted Jakinio going towards B, and it's technically the wrong way. If he checks it towards Con now, he gets a timing, and he will get one, get a second. That's not bad from Demka. Numbers now favor Monty, despite the firepower, not so much. Yep, not looking good. But we'll see. Four versus three. So much noise, Chiquinho. Holding here, but Waro goes, what the heck? You know, moving through the smoke, spots the back of him. And now 4v2 looks pretty damn good to me. Flash coming in for these CT players. Nilo a little late to the party. ZTR, oh, he's watching for that. He's still he's left incredibly low. Gives me to finish him off. It's all going to be down to Nilo. Can't get it done. And a double digit fine for Monty. The back and forth continues here. On oh, no. earth. Sort of a, not a no buy, but a, a kind of a weird lowish half buy as well. Ah, this is not looking that good either way. But I guess the, the main thing is that for Monty, they've sort of shattered the econ a bit over towards Metapult. I don't think, oh, I guess I don't think you want to force. Sauce has bought a Galil, so's Nilo. They're going to force it. Now, this is the biggest kind of make or break round we've seen out of the last five, essentially. If Metapult lose this, and even worse, loses about a bomb plant. And they were in a hell of a lot of trouble. Oh, allow Monty start to run away with things. That's your it's a grenade, jump it down, crash no, full blind. We will get two. Chiquinho and Susp looking to salvage whatever they can from this round. Feels like the game could slip if they lose this one. Krasnall hidden away in the get right corner. No movement from him. Flying in his Kikinio. We'll take that one. Where's the next player? Ryu makes it a bit tough. USP is now out waiting, buying time for his rotating teammates. Excuse me, got to be careful not to go down here without Demka to help him. He knows that he's playing it nice and safe around this back pillar. They've got the bomb. No need to take any risks. Just relax. 
Susp, however, has found a gap in this respectful move. But he's not confident enough to just keep holding W. Here we go. Moving round. A little bit of a shadow spot there, but he doesn't really know. He doesn't really notice it. Takes out Demke. Oh, and he finds gives me two. The info didn't come in fast enough. What a clutch. Oh, yeah. I, I think Gizmi thought when he kills him into his market, that he's just going to run all the way through CT and try and plant A. Oh, but that that angle that Gizmi's playing is, is... It doesn't help him. I mean, obviously, he doesn't know. There's no way. But it, in hindsight, you know, it leaves him so exposed. He just has nowhere that he can fall back to. Open to, like, four different angles, basically. Short. Both the market angles... Anyone swinging out from back pillar? I mean, it's ah, oh, it's a rough one. It really is. Ten all, back and forth again. Neither side Didn't seem to find any sort of consistency, any sort around off the back of each other. Monty's economy now shattered off the back of losing that one, and what felt like an unlosable situation. Credit to Sosp. 10 all should get an 11th here without too much of a worry. Nades over the top. Flashes flying in. Waro on the deagle. Can't get it done. And that should be the only real threat of this round. Dealt with. Oh! Okay, it was Krasnal that got the kill. It was Krasnal that got the kill. I thought it was a team kill, but it's all good. I think there might have been a bit of damage in there, though, to be fair. Uh, gives me on the Zeus. Who's going to give him a fight, then? Who's scrapping? Honestly, I don't think anyone is, because I feel like yeah. they know that he's here, and they're just going to leave him to it. I really don't think there's going to be a lot to offer up here. Maybe. No. No. Oh, he spotted and dropped. A very simple round on the Metasport. Nice execute. That'll be them two rounds away now from closing out this very, very scrappy map. I well, like Samonti. They go back into an investment. In the same way we saw it earlier for Metasport, this is the same for them. This is make or break. Lose this. And yes, you have lost bonus, but that could be enough for Metasport to close out the game. They have to find 11th in response, or else they're in a lot of trouble. Uh oh. Not a good start. Crass now falls quickly. Gizmi is still here. Looking, finding, and creating Ooh. a little bit more as well. So Monty moving into an advantageous position. Find themselves in the ascendancy. Lovely stuff. Gives me still low. Kit still lacking, but I do like the way that this looks. It was quiet. That's the initial fight through mid. Gives me is low. It's not positive. Double stacking in through Balk here. Oh my god, Zeti. Oh, I, I don't think you realize how treacherous of a spot he could be here. Oh, he finds one. Can't get the second. The smoke will come down. Might just pop in the fight here, and Nilo's going to fall. Warrow was waiting for exactly that. And Monty are going to answer back. My god, this is one of the ugliest games of Counter Strike I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I think they've just been in here for a long while, yeah. you know, and it is really starting to get to them a long day as well. Obviously, a BO3 before this, and uh, it is that post-major circuit. It really picks up again out of nowhere. Uh, Metasport playing games, obviously, yesterday for this qualifier, same as Monty, but then before that as well, you know, like as soon as it finishes, you've got games going on. Um, yeah, and it's it's a difficult time as well, you know. You, you watch the major, you maybe watch some of your mm. friends win the thing or get deep in it. And you're still battling and grinding in the tier two. So it can inspire, it can dishearten. And I think when you've got a giga long day like this one, um, it can certainly take the energy out of you <laughs> a little yeah. bit with Major on the mind. 
Yeah, no, I think you're right. Man, this is... Very, very... Tough to watch at times, but... Again... Multi square. Mid! Oh, it's messy! Dinkling towards the teammates, all oh, doesn't help, but gives me a Jakini to go one apiece. Could be workable. Difficult to call. I like the boost up in the middle of the round, though, from Ryu here. I'm not sure if it has been heard by Mr. Adam in particular. It looks like they are very ready for a fight. They spot him coming. Down he'll go. Down goes the next. Metis Port, when it matters most, in prime position. But gives me... Oh, I could have done a bit of something there. Demka could still get it done, however. They're incredibly low. He's been smoked and now spotted. A well-placed nade could deny the bomb plant. He's not going to go for it. Kit retrieved. They're actually faking out on the plant to try and draw him in. I think the barrel being spotted at the window. Oh, man, it's so frustrating. One well-placed nade makes this so much easier for him, but he's contemplating a save. As that nade comes in, his decision is made for him, and he will take the M4 into the next round to give them a desperate attempt into the overtime. Demka, like you said, he'll keep it alive. Oh my god, I don't know. Don't know if the short player spotted him there, but I'm judging by the fact that I go into his top mid that they didn't. Metasport find it themselves on map and series point. Demka, he will save. But the real worry is here is just look what's around it. Realistically, nothing, right? Krasnell. I've got a pistol for him. Gives me, yeah, MP9. For you, pistol. And Wara probably just that, yeah, scout is favoured. This is not a great buy. It's going to be a tough one to try and make work. Double MP9, scout, M4, and Ryu on just a 5-7. And on top of that as well, seriously limited when it comes to all their utility. This is brutal. Of all the ways to go into the final round of regulation, this one's got to hurt. Yeah, very true, man. But we'll see. We'll see. We have seen Monty wrestle back to an overtime once already in this series. Maybe they can do it again. Time going to tell. Execute coming over the top from Meta's port. Really responsive nadage. Not too bad, to be fair, to keep them at bay. They have to burst through if they want to make use of the smokes they've just laid down. So it is going to be a bit of a different call now. And only one smoke left for Meta's port. So they can't really double pump them. Empty behind that smoke. Adam, gonna get tagged. Not committing to it, though. And Monty on over rotating either, leaving one in through mid and one out towards B. It's just Ryu out towards B as well. Mid is 5 7. 40 seconds. Now the execute. This is the true execute. They've gotta commit to it. No second hand utility for Monty to work with. They've just gotta fight. Demka, one for one. Not a bad start, but Jakinio, he finds Warrow and Trader. That is a big deal. They'll go working their way forwards here, just trying to thin the numbers as best they possibly can. Give me has been sniffed out and found now. What a shot through the smoke. Three on the 5 7 does get one, but it's just all going to be in vain. Crash now falls and a two to one in favor of Metisport, but my goodness, is it hard for an overtime? victory a 13 11 victory a long series for everybody involved metisport though deserving of the victory in the end that mirage yeah. t side looked very clean indeed let's not beat her on the bush as well that mirage was seriously ugly we already mentioned it